built by this man, Ralph Weiss, who's another guy, home builder guy, that I got a chance to work with a whole bunch and helped get me to where I am. In this photo, he's sitting in his home built, the sixth home built that he built, uh, designed and built for what is sort of now the sport class before there was a sport class at Reno. He was a marine fighter pilot. Uh, like I said, he's built six airplanes before this, everything from little Formula Ones to Yak-11 racers. Uh, and it was a big deal for me to, to be able to tap into his mind. So actually, when he checked me out in this airplane, we used the, uh, the same curriculum that he used in the F-4. So we always a way to kind of go back and tap into his marine knowledge, me being a civilian, and walk through the process he went through, how he looked at learning a new airplane, and learn this thing that no one had flown but Ralph. And I got the opportunity to learn the airplane from him and then fly it a little bit. For me, the airplane wasn't an airplane until it came here. So Ralph and I worked out a way that I could fly the airplane out here to Oshkosh and show it to Oshkosh because until the airplane comes to Oshkosh, in my opinion, it's not a real airplane. So it was cool to bring the airplane here. This was 2015. Me and my wife flew it out over the Rockies. Uh, one off, thank you, appreciate that. Uh, one off home built uh, over the Rockies. Seems like a great idea in your warm bed on a you know, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, so I have another video here. This is sitting in that airplane. So this is me sitting in the front seat of the GT400. Uh, and we're on a test flight. So if you see, I'm in close trail tra uh, formation with my business partner in Wasabi Air Racing, Justin Gillen. Uh, Justin's flying that Lancer Legacy. I think we were on uh, something like the eighth flight. Uh, and we were investigating a uh, trim tab that appeared to be loose. I was sitting back in a further, a more distant trail and watching the vertical tail kind of wander around. So I pulled in tight to see if it was, in fact, the, the rudder trim tab that was shaking. Uh, on every flight uh, up to this point in the program, we had been pulling the spoiler circuit breaker for takeoff and landing. On a Lancer Legacy, it works out to the equivalent of about 70 to 80 horsepower worth of drag. So if you have you know, maybe 250 horsepower to play with, that can take a big chunk out of your, your climb rate. So by pulling that spoiler circuit breaker, we made sure that it wouldn't accidentally deploy if there was a problem in the airplane. Once you got up to cruise, you'd put that circuit breaker in, right? So here we are up in cruise, and the, and the, uh, the worst thing happens. The thing that we had thought about maybe would happen enough to pull the circuit breaker for takeoff and landing actually happened, and happened while I was in close trail. You see the spoilers come out of the Lance Air here. There they go, and poof, he's gone. Can you with that? Did you command those spoilers? So if you heard those calls, it was, did you command the spoilers? He said, no, I didn't. So for me, that's a lot of what uh, EAA is about, right? I, I think uh, you know, when you order your RV kit, right, you get the tail kit in the mail, and you open up the box and say, what is this, right? And you have to learn those skills, right? That works all the way up to flight tests, and I think it's totally awesome that we have a resource where we can have an experience like that and share it with other people so that they can benefit from it as well. 